All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We are playing some standard, 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 and uh, it's near the end of a ladder. <laughs> Been a rough day so far. Let me tell you, I'm having a rough day. Um, Forty-seven hours left in, this, left in the season. We're doing the worst thing you can possibly do, which is wait till the last minute to try and uh, rank up the top twelve hundred. Um, I was saying earlier how a ladder is kind of frustrating because I was at like, you know, one hundred mythic or one fifty mythic like a week and a half ago, and I was considering just sitting on it, but like I gotta play and make content and stuff, and it's just. It's annoying that you would even consider not playing, but here we are, and we're battling, and this deck uh, went like 6-0 or 5-1 in one of the SG Tour um, satellites. It's a Demir Yorian, kind of like a new deck in the format, and um, this deck looks pretty sweet, honestly. Um, a lot of good Demir cards here. Of course, the Yorian engine is pretty well known. Not like a super Yorian deck. We're not playing like all these Doom Foretold and all this crap. What's up, Finn? Um, we're just playing Ashiok, we're playing Ugin, kind of that like Maze Mind Tome, Solemn Simulacrum, Ugin core. We've seen like Mono Red Control, we've seen it in Mono Green Control, we've seen it like a, or Mono Green like Rampy stuff or whatever. Um, Mono Black is kind of core here, but these, these three cards makes a lot of uh, sense together. And we're just filled with a lot of really good um, control cards here. A bunch, bunch of kill spells, counter spells. Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths, I love this card. Super fun card, powerful card. Very good with Yorian for Extinction Event. I think Ashiok's just good, too. Ashiok's just a good card. So I got some Crawling Barons in here. And uh, that's it. Shadow's Verdict. Boarding Shark Typhoons. Let's freaking go. Let's just do it. Let's just go. Demir Yorian. Brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Waiting on our opponent. Tough choice here. Tough choice. Yeah, follow us on that follow. But of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Holy hell! Dropping bombs. What? That's not my... I can't do that shtick. It's not my shtick. Corey Baumeister, thanks for the raid, my friend. I really appreciate that. Corey, how did your uh, Star City satellite go? You know, I saw you were playing one of the SG Tour satellites. And, um, yeah, I miss Roanoke. I'll actually, I'll, I keep seeing you guys post about playing basketball. And I want to come hang, come hang out with you guys, but can't yet. It's the Rona. The Rona. But it sounds good. We can keep this. 4-2 with a no-show in round six? Bingo. How lucky is that? Jeez. Seriously, I, I miss all y'all. I just miss I miss freaking going to tour. I miss hanging out in the hotel room at one in the morning. You know? Just bullshitting and eating at crappy restaurants and just having random drinks and Ross telling me all about communism at one o'clock in the morning at some random bar in some random city. I miss it. I miss it. Solemn Simulacrum. So they're playing a Temple of Deceit. They're not playing a Companion, but they could be rogues. I'm going to ship the Solemn. We can do better than that, I think. That sums up Roanoke still? Yeah. I want to come visit you guys. Play some ball. All right. So, uh, yeah. I mean, our hand's like, okay. It's not great. Let's see if they're playing rogues or not. We lost to a Demir Flash deck before, and it was freaking ridiculous. They had Slither Wisp. They kept playing uh, the hybrid two drop in response to our counter spells. You're playing a different deck, but just like unreal. All right, so uh, our hand's pretty awkward. I mean, this deck does seem a little tough against rogues. We just kind of have a lot of a lot of clunky cards. Mill Ashiok will land. All right, because we can like Blood Chief's Thirst. We can have no other spells to play, which kind of sucks. It's almost a little tempting to just cycle neutralize. It's just like never gonna be good. And I wanna be able to double spell next turn. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Like I'd love to be able to draw a two mana spell so I can kill the soaring thought thief and kill the next thing too. Cycling, too. Ashia. Nightmare. It was you. 
Um, okay. I mean, they're probably going to counter it, but if it resolves, this card's like insane. We have three cards in the bin, so our cycle obviously ruined this against, uh... Ruined this against, uh... Drama Lock. That's kind of gross, but... I mean, we can't double spells. We're just going to cast it. If it resolves, it's insane. They counter it, whatever. The reasoning behind this deck... I mean, we still have four Solemns to ramp. You just play Ugin, you know? You just play kill spells until you play Ugin. Uh-uh. This deck did well... Has been doing well in the, uh... The recent SGD Tour satellites, so... I'm not exactly sure, you know... First time playing it. Wow. That's so good for us. I can't believe that resolved. It's just a, a Doom Blade, a Duress, and then a Tormod script. If all three modes work, it's pretty good. Unfortunately, though, it's target opponent's graveyard, not target players. We can't exile our... Oh, no. Oh, I, I hate this card so much. Oh, we hate it. And then we, we just can't ever win. Yeah, literally can't ever win. Okay. Uh, I mean... The right is Borrower... I mean, their hand's pretty bad. We can, like... Oh, this is odd. It's not even. I always think it's hard cost four, not five. Um, we can, like, Extinction Event to kill this thing, and then, like, I guess kill Ashiok next turn. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, all right. We can't Ashiok our own Ashiok. Then we need to, like, discard a card from our hand, and the Ashiok just dies, which is, like, not great. All right, let's kill this Trickster. It is odd, right? Oh, boy. This card's such a freaking blowout. Stupid card. So they have Soaring Thought Thief and Brazen Borrower. We gotta kill, uh, I guess all doesn't really matter, but cling to dust again. Alright. Like, I guess we're just gonna cast Blood Chief's Thirst, kill the Ashiok, and then cling on our turn. Sorry, folks. Our paper price is actually depressed right now. So obviously people aren't playing play, play, Paper Magic, but at the same time, the buyers aren't buying cards. So there's, the short, there's like a lot of shortages in cards too. So play the Lamas turn, right? Yeah. Ashiok is really creepy. I don't like Ashiok. Too creepy. But they're just gonna kill us, I think. They just play all their stuff. It's like cast Borrower here too and just act for a million. They're probably just dead. Oh, it's just a backbreaking. uh... It's sick, too, because, like, they had to mill an Ashiok to make it, like, really good, but... They do it again? Alright, so this is cool, because this time we can, uh... We can actually exile the card they try and get. We're also taking a huge hit though, so it's like pretty bad for us. Draw a card, sure. Draw a card, sure. I mean... We can like Ashiok minus on this. 
That sucks though, so just keep it. We can't kill it though. We play Ashiok and plus it, they just bounce the token and murder murderlate us. So we kinda have to do that, I guess. I think we're just pretty bad. Just too much to recover from. What's up, Siren? How's it going, everyone? It's a long time wait for them to just kill us, you know? Man, imagine putting Ashiok in play on turn four. They exiled the Thought Thief. Sure. You need to take a chill pill, Ashiok. Gonna die anyway. Alright, so I don't see how we can win though. Like, we just can't beat the cards they have in play and the cards in their hand. Thanks, Siren. Yes, that was awesome. Like, they just flash in this thing and kill us. Or they brazen bar or bounce, play brazen bar, we're just dead. Alright, tough game there. Um, they had the basic of the stone cold nuts being able to turn for us with our own Ashiok. But um, now we get to board in a lot of good cards and hopefully be okay. So let's bring in our, um, our Nightmare. Let's see, Shark Typhoon seems good. Dispute seems good. We're going to be able to more of a counterspell deck against them. Let's see, our Ugin's are coming out. Solemn seems pretty bad to you, honestly. Um, just want cheap spells against rogues. This card's also like fine. The gate's not bad either. Countering, uh, I guess they're not really like an end of story deck though. They're more focused on like the stupid uh, Ink Eyes card. Let's shave uh, some Solemns and Atris. Save all the sorcery speed cards. Shave an extinction event. Cling thirst. Maybe we just don't want any Solemns, honestly. Without them having uh, without, without having Ugin in our deck, we don't even want Solemn anymore. I'm bringing another negate. I like this. As long as we can keep them off of the Zareth whatever card and keep them off into the story, we can just beat them, we can just grind them into the ground. Blue Black Yorian, here we are. Keeping, keeping cards, let's go. Triome. The old mystical dispute. Get back with their own Triome. Awesome. Maze Mind Tome is obviously phenomenal. We're we'll we'll playing a draw go game for sure, so being able to say go and draw cards is great. Definitely need a second blue here. Wouldn't mind a kill spell. I think it looks pretty awful, but I'm just gonna draw. Sure. It's, it is a green shirt, yes. It is, my video camera is not working the way it's supposed to today, but I didn't check it before I started streaming. So here we are. We're Ghost Jim. I'm just gonna draw. Loving the green screen ghost look. Thanks, Blade. Appreciate that. Can we just, like, draw land here? Is that possible? Um, we still have disputes. I'm not, like, super worried about getting beat by, like, a creature here. But please draw land. Please draw land. Please draw land. Oh, it's 
Right, now we're feeling great. Now we're feeling great. Thought Thief with possible uh, dispute up. Just scatter us. Stay dispute, whatever. Hit me. Hit me. Might be looking at an upkeep scry here. Mill two Jawari disruptions. Sure. Happy anniversary to Lightning Helix. Oh my god. Is that that was today? I saw the history thing on uh, Twitter, but Alright. Um I mean now I can draw with Kling also. I just don't want to scry, I just want to draw cards. I'm just drawing a card. Land! We did it super awkwardly, but we did it. Uh, all right. Sango. Black blue in the pool. So when does the car and puppy emote come out? Tell them! Tell them what's up! They're gonna brazen borrower my... My maze mine tome? I'm pretty happy negating here, because it also it kills the borrower too, so... Like, the fact that this is also doomblading the borrower later is awesome, so I like that. Yes, I haven't updated the things yet. We have a lot, we have a lot to do, right? We have a lot to do, for sure. All right, so they they obviously have Zarathan, Sand, whenever they're, they're thinking about it. No? Maybe, yes. All right. All right. Um, draw a card. Sure. Let's draw a card again. It's a nightmare. Damn. Nightmare resolving is a big game. Big, big game. Now we have negate and dispute available. Thieves guild enforcer. Oh, can't ne can't negate or dispute that. So sure. They hit a Shark Typhoon. That's not good. So they have the Zareth, Sam, whatever. They might be able to get Shark Typhoon in play. Kind of sucks. All right. Taking three. Not too bad. Not too bad. Can live with that. Need to duress them next turn. Draw a card. Gain four. We're doing it. We're doing it. Sure. Duress ya. <laughs> Game. <laughs> After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. Run that back. Run that. Let me hear that back. So yeah, definitely uh, like, our, like how we sideboarded. Cutting all of our big, dumb, expensive sorcery speed things. Just keeping the interaction high. My hands. Seasons are once a month, basically. The end of the end of the month. And, uh... Yeah. Oh. It's very smart to do your uh, ranking up in the early in the season and then just kind of sit on it for the most part. But... We didn't do that, so... Gotta make content! Content is coming! Come on, Mix. Let's go.
I like it. The extinction events are pretty bad, but I'm not sure what else they could be. We're gonna keep all of our we want all of our cheap interactive stuff. Temple for land. Love it. Love it. Bingo. All right. Double tap land. Like that. We get to omen now under no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Hmm. We're already pretty good at our removal spells. Um, I don't mind Temple, though, honestly. Like, we want to make all of our land drops. We can look for a counter spell with it. I like Temple here. Nightmare. Oh, don't want that. Alright, you're up. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Denial Nightmare and Negate. Okay. Hmm. We definitely really want to resolve Elspeth's Nightmare. That's like the most important card. So. Trying to work out how to get that to happen would be pretty cool. I think we're just going to kill this. Um, we're playing standard, so no fetid pools. You'd be, you'd be totally correct, Conflict Diamond, if it was legal, but... Um, I guess we can just cycle Shark Dive to kill this later on, too. This is going to happen. I think this is fine. Another Elspeth's Nightmare? Right, we're going to stay go, and we're going to cycle Shark Typhoon on their turn. And, yeah, I was playing Storok yesterday. No worries, my friend. Storok's a lot of fun. These are Conflict Diamonds. Is they, Jacob? Don't lie to me, man. All right, so... We're going to cycle Typhoon here and make them interact with us. And then we get to untap and play uh, Nightmare. Or kill the Urgen Forcer, which is great, too. Not a bad throw, and it's not great. Pretty good for us. Pretty good, and nothing else? Wow. Wow. All right. Um, shark attack? Alright, um... And we're not putting Yori in our, in our seven card hand, so we're just gonna say go, I guess. We've got kill spells and... Soaring Thought Thief. Like... This is fine. And then... We get to untap and play Nightmare. If they counter it, play another Nightmare. It's pretty good. Okay. Worst case would it be like Ink Eyes Counterspell for Heartless Act, but alright, sure. So untap. Doing nothing here just kind of suck, but untap. Play land. What's up, Poon? Um, just got it back into Magic Arena. I mean, all my deck lists are available if you type in exclamation point decks. Um, I'm just playing decks that did well in tournaments today. I don't really got anything crazy. I haven't played much standard, I'm playing a lot of historic, so. Nightmare? Why let me. Why, why let them mill me? That was easy. Game. Well, that was easy. Blouses. That win brought to you by Coalist Apparel Shop. Coalist Apparel. Check out the shirts. I'm not wearing a shirt right now, but um, I am wearing a shirt, not one of these shirts. Uh, Coalist Apparel Shop. Promo code Gym10. Normally, but right now it's a Black Friday sale. Up to 40% off your order. Uh, on Colas Apparel Shop, super fun design, super awesome shirts. Check them out. Colas Apparel dot shop. Damn. This, seriously, they're, they're just so comfortable. Super nice, super nice. Check it out. Colas Apparel Shop. Merit Lage. It's a good shirt. Wooberg forever. All right. That's a hand. I'm gonna keep this. 
Red. Alright, it's a pretty easy disruption here, I think. Just gonna make, 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 make all of our land drops, so. Not a huge fan of this card, but it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, what is this? Seasoned Hollow Blade? I don't know if you can beat that card. That card's a that card's a bopper. Alright, so um. What can they play on three? We're gonna want a four spike. Maybe thought to play it. I guess like Maul of the Skyclaves would be bad. We don't kill this thing very well. Uh, we have Extinction Event. That's mostly it. Cargan Intimidator. That one's easier to kill. Alright, let's try. That card is... Temple of Deceit. Gone. Upkeep Scry? No, I don't think so. Let me just draw. Yeah, it's not too great. Um. Yeah, let's just say go. We're kind of getting getting rocked here. Just double blade of a six pride, you know. Too powerful. Too powerful. That's bad. All right. Never mind. We got him. Get off my plane. So we are at 11 already. Um, Solemn's not bad here. This also is, address isn't bad either, actually. Just make some blockers. I guess I could use the Intimidator to make it so it can't block, but... That requires some mana and stuff, you know? Right, let's play Solemn. Get a, a Swamp. Please don't kill me. That's bad. Oh god. What do they put it on though? What do they put it on though? Intimidator is better for the attack this turn, but worse on future turns. We are in trouble though. We are in trouble. Alright, they're playing it safe. Damn counter spells. All right, um, we're at six, AKA basically dead. Up you cry. Two mana kill spell. No. Two mana kill spell. No, come on. All right. Um. Don't want to shuffle. You gotta help me out here, Oracle of Half Truths. We need you. We need a two mana kill spell. Even if it just taps this thing for a turn, need a little help. All right. So those that don't know, Atris, opponent sees top three cards of our deck, puts them in two piles. We see one face down, one face up, and we can choose a pile we want. So Omen of a Sea or two cards. So this could be like two lands. They could also be trying to game us here. Um. The fact that we have two mana available, we can cast Omen of the Sea, looking for Extinction Event, is pretty huge. Um, this would be a sick, sick mind game if there's a good card here, especially Extinction Event. Um, but I think this is probably just like two lands or some counter spells. I think Omen's the best card we want here, so we're going to choose the Omen of the Sea. It was land land. All right. All right. Uh, let me sig up. All one to look for extinction event is the, the most important thing we could have right now. So we have four extinction event that can kill Hollow Blade. We also have Yorian, I suppose. Um, but we're not there yet on Yorian. We have Ugin too, that's not we're not there yet on that either, so. Oh my god, that's bad for us. What is this deck? Alright, I think we're dead either way now. I don't think we're gonna anymore.
I mean, that's not very good. Too many cancels. Too many cancels. Oh, that's so close to being good. Yep. No answer to uh to the flying hollow blade. Alright, that's fine. Too many cancels. Too many cancels. Hollow blade's pretty good against us. Um this card kills Hollow Blade. So we only have four extinction events that kill Hollow Blade. That's kinda kinda tough. Bring in a, oh, this, card, this card kills it too. Uh, this card's actually insane against them. Shadow's verdict, that's gas. Uh Nightmares doesn't kill that much stuff. Shark Typhoon also just blocks flyers. I mean the new the neutralizes has gotta go. Uh the negate's gotta go. Um that's 80 cards. Kling to Dust can go too, actually. Kling's pretty bad. I guess Kling does, does uh, exile cards for their Phoenixes, but it can, it can gain life in a pinch, but I think I just want the Shark Typhoons. I guess Scatter's good too on the play, especially. Hmm. Nightmare's pretty good. Carrot underscore carrot. Carrot underscore carrot. Cat Coco Ben, thanks for the reset. Appreciate that. I'm bringing Shark Type in. I'm in love with the Coco Fang. Count Coco Fang. Go first. Love it. We have a way to kill the card that killed us. Easy game. Temple for land? Uh, that is a land. Um, Alright, we're going to keep that. Temple of Triumph. Temple of Triumph. Nice tap lands. Nice tap lands. We're going to maze mines. I want to play this disruption as a land. I just want to get the ticket to Burke and cast it. Nothing? That's embarrassing for you. That is embarrassing for you. Embarrassing. Yeah. Alright. Now we just like probably hold this. Stomp me, I suppose. I mean, countering this is kind of nice, honestly. Like, it just like preempts the Bone Crusher and gains his two life. We could like take two and like counter the actual Bone Crusher, but. Argon Intimidator. I'm not feeling very intimidated right now. You wanna know why? Because they're playing Temple of Triumph. Nice tap land aggro deck. Alright. Um I think it's dry. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Now I'm I'm feeling completely in control of this game. I have no fear. No fear, Shakespeare. Kill it. Eh, I'll just kill it, sure. Draw a card with Maze Mine, still have uh Omen here. No cowards here. Sorceress Spyglass? Alright, I guess. I guess there goes Maze Mine Tome, but sure. I've already drawn multiple cards off it, so I'm not, not too sad about it. Maze Mine Tome has been named. We can't actually remove this from the battlefield, so... It's kind of annoying, I guess, but whatever. 
Um, is there a card we want to cast in our main phase? Put Yorian in our hand. Just play Omen of the Sea. Yeah, just probably just do that. All right. Um, is there a card at the bottom of our deck? No. Actually, I can bounce it. You are correct. Mm. That's pretty dope. Let me just play Instep play step Omen. Let's play Yorian, draw card. We have Shadow's Verdict, kill stuff too, so. Join our forces all alone. This is sad. No forces, no forces to join here. You know? No, no, no. Spells, please. That's a spell. That is a spell. Um, I think I have like Phoenix. So let's just kill the Winona, I guess. Uh, bringing a companion to your hand is not an activated ability, no. It's just like a special action, I think. Smart Jim. Playing around Phoenix of Ash. Not getting Winona triggered. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Now we just play Yorian and they just play another creature and we just Shadow's Verdict. Why crack the thing? Uh, why not? That's true. We two ends the bottom. You're right. I shouldn't have cracked it. You're correct. What's cracking? My Fable Passage, apparently. Um, Essence Scatter, sure. Yorion, Sky Nomad. So now we have, um, now we have Essence Scatter for Winona and Shadow's Verdict for everything else. It's kind of cool. Uh, Shark Typhoon's kind of nice. I'm going to draw that for Ugin, too, so... Take Shark Tape, man. They got a lot of cards in their graveyard, right? Elspeth Conquers Death? What? That's an interesting card to play. Uh, yeah, that's pretty obnoxious. Okay, I guess. I'll just draw land. Is cycling Shark Tape going crazy? We just want land eight so bad. Yeah, that's gotta be crazy. Ugin minus five is really good here. Um, I could just cycle on their turn, make a five five, and block the Phoenix. That's a tough one. That's a tough one because they get back Winona off of the the third chapter of Conqueror's Death, and if I wait a turn, I can't cast it next turn because it'll cost ten. All right, I'm gonna cycle. Nope. Yep. Yes, sir. Spyglass is naming Maze Mind Tomb. Tomb. They gotta have a haster here to kill my Ugin. Or another Conqueror's Death. He's too dangerous to be left alive. Game. That's what I'm talking about. Blouses. I think game one. Oh yeah, we got massacred, right? We should drew all, all the cancels. Um alright, so Elspeth the Conqueror's death is interesting. Um Elspeth's nightmare is weird, because like they have a lot of two mana three ones. Um so a lot of cards just doesn't doesn't kill. It is really good if it hits, but I think this playing that number is fine. And then uh yeah, I'm cool with this. I think we're pretty happy. We can maybe shave like one maze mind, just play around uh, Sorcerer Spyglass again, but 
We're playing 80 cards. What are the odds you draw more than one, right? You know? You have Planeswalker voices turned off? Boring. Turning off Planeswalker voices. You want to see a fun video? Follow me on Twitter. I am Khan. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to me about the <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. Neutralize is like good in like your mirrors and stuff, you know? Alright, this hand's fine. We can keep this. We drew the one intervention again to answer the uh, the three ones, so. Temple of Deceit. Perfect draw. Nightmare? I think we want it. I think we want it. Gosh, man. I guess it turns off Solemn. Yeah, it turns off Solemn and Atris. All right, I guess. It's a card. Dies the Nightmare, though. It's pretty awesome for us, so. Like, them... If, if, if Nightmare can kill any card, we're do we're just super happy. Speed is better in the Mirror. Yeah, I mean, this is much worse against a deck like this, though. Like, much worse. Later, my friend. They're saying go. Sweet. It's a nightmare! Oh man. When this card hits, it's just so freaking good. Like, and they obviously have spells in their hand. Because we have a. Oh my god, they played, they played a mall. Their hand's gotta be so bad. Can we do a Jim D opponent's hand of the week? That is hilarious. I gotta, we gotta save this one. Oh, that's really funny. Check out this hand, so it's... We, uh, we turn three Nightmared, killed their creature. They went, didn't play, a, it went third land, Maul of the Skyclaves, go. And this is their hand. They played Maul of the Skyclaves <laughs> with nothing to equip it on? We're gonna lose to this hack, these hack, they're just gonna draw a mountain and kill us a hack, though. It's gonna be so funny. Uh, alright, um... I mean, Extinction Event's a card, and you can also, you know, uh, counter it. I guess the cool thing is that Erebos Intervention can always kill this card, because yeah. you can vary the cost, which is kinda cool. Uh, maybe I should wanna leave, leave Disruption up. Like, I wanna cast, uh... Yeah, I would leave Disruption up, if I were you. I mean, it, it like, I wanna cast Solemn. It. Intervention kills it, and... I'm playing Solemn. Sure, I mean, there's a chance of Solemn being block it, too. Right. Like, if they spike a land, Great. If they don't, and the, game, the, untapped land. the game's over. Uh, All right. They spike the land. Sure. And it had to be a red land too. And then he's like, they now, spike an but now land. whatever they play, we just get to kill it, and we still have four spike up. So, sure. They three. rolled three. Sure. Now we, we have essence scattered too. So this is great. Um, we're not gonna put we're gonna put as a land, I think. Really? We're gonna kill for three. We still have essence scatter too. I want to get to Ashiok as well. Um. Mm, let's see. Let's see. I mean, interventions in an instant too, right? Yeah. Um, we kill this. We scatter. So wait, something. is it protection from everything except for three? Like, yes. Okay. So, all right. We just say go. I guess we'll hold the disruption. I'm not really sure about that, but like, do they have any weird protection spells, like Caramel's blessing or whatever? They're gonna equip skis. That's a blowout. That's a blowout. Get off my plane. So this costs three, which can target this. That's game! After it was all game. over, he took us in the house of service bank. Playing? Wow, what a trooper. What a trooper. But like, is it game? What do you mean, like, they just don't have anything. Yeah, I know. Like, They're slam jamming another Hakdos here, though. Yeah, we're gonna force spike it. We have Essence Scatter. We have Extinction Event. An Ashiok. Sorceress Spyglass. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna know about my stuff. That's fine. Let's draw a card. Now they're gonna know about that too. Yep. 
Yes, they are. Harvick the Spiteful is tight. That card's good. If our opponent's deck gets popular, we can play Carvac the Spiteful. Yeah, this card's really stupid. Me and Nicole played a GP New Jersey. It was like a sealed deck tournament, and we were playing in a trial. And my opponent played this card in sealed and rolled a two. And there was a, it wasn't a single card in my entire deck that can interact with it. Not one. Not one single card. I played against that card in, like, Constructed, but... I feel like I played against that card in lim that limited GP, too, but I was able to, like, block it or something. Because they rolled, like, a four, and I just had a four drop or something. Yeah, they didn't dash you off. We're, we're, we're off the races here. What did they need? Ashiok. Huh, so, no sure. Ashiok here, but we got, no, we got Four Spike, Card Draw, Essence Scatter, we got Lamb, we got Removal Spells. Alright, Four Spike's no longer good, it's fine. Um, obviously, Event on Four is kind of awkward, too, so, alright, we'll just. It's just like, they have to roll a three. If they roll a two or a four, it's fine. You know? What do we do? I mean, oh, what do you think? a four with the Solemn. Four Solemn blocks it, and then two, we can Heartless Axe it. So it I has mean, to be three. I feel like you essence scatter this one and roll the dice on the next one. Let's draw a card first. I, I I like that too. I want to roll the dice. You want to roll the dice on this one? Yeah. Just Why not one. make them commit their next turn to the same play? Like. I guess I'm sorry. They could they could they could put the the mall on it. So so that way they can't. Oh no, they can't. Because if it's pro, if it's. It has to be three for the mold. So three, yeah, three is the worst case. All right, we'll just counter it, I guess. Just counter it, you know. Get. Ugin. All right. Daddy's home. Yeah. Now I feel like I want to play your daddy's home. Disruption test. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Uh, so play this. And now we just don't care. Just play solid two, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, I can do it. You're up. I think all those guy claves looks like. I know it's a white card, but it looks colorless. Well, yeah, I mean, it's an artifact, but. Yeah, I know, but like, I feel like it just looks more colorless. Alright, here he is. Achilles' heel is. You can kill it. I can kill it. I mean, if you want to. You can kill it if you want to. <laughs> oh my god, what a, what a ridiculous, disgusting mess of everything that's happening here. Alright, so we're gonna Heartless like this, put Yori in our hand. Yeah, it's like not even casting Ugin. Ugin is not even your best play here. Yep. That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm just gonna kill this now so we can attack. Kill that. They definitely have the full cast in him. 100%. Yeah? I think you're wrong. Legion Angel. Get off my plane. Anything else, opponent? I can do this all day. Opponent's very sad. Very Game. Sad. It's a Blouses. Karn victory. Karn's here. What match was that, folks, with this deck? Is that match two or match three? I thought it was match... No, that might have been match two. We're 2-0, two oh, right? It's Boros and then... The Demir? We played against like no. the Rogues deck, yeah. and they got us to a turn to a turn four Ashiok. Didn't you play against a? No, that was that was the last one. Yeah. The so we're two and out. Two and out. Two and zero. I think one deck should definitely play um, the three four uh, Bastard Lieutenant. That's by far the best card to to Winona. I agree with not playing like, like I think Hackdos is really bad, but Bastard Lieutenant is actually like a really really good card. Can you anything, darling? Have drinks? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Nice. Kellogg's. Cereal Kellogg's. Get it? Cereal? Cereal Kellogg's? Get it? Kellogg's cereal? Get it? It's a joke. Uh... <laughs> that good, huh? You got scries and stuff, you know? Mm. Yeah, Legion Angel's definitely a cool card, but not very good. They haven't figured out how to make an actual good white card. Goodbye. Let's go Serial Kellogg's. Edge wall in here. Okay. So we really need to draw lands here. We're just gonna play Omen on their end step. Um, let's try to find land number three and four, hopefully. 
But the thing is that casting Bad Tooth Lieutenant is totally fine. It's like a totally fine card to cast. It's actually like actively pretty good. Alright. How about you don't play anything? Love it. Love it. Let's find some lands here. Lando Calrissian. That's not good. Okay. Just need lands. That's that is that is that is not a land. That is not a land either. Come on! Are you serious? That's unreal. All right, we're we're dead, folks. Uh, not sure what to tell you. We are stone dead. We saw five cards. We couldn't find a single land. And a scry. Six cards. How many cards do we see? And it couldn't even be like a, like if we drew like the Blood Chief's Thirst instead of the Ugin, it'd be like okay. Oh my god. Oh no, we're so dead. If we play Maze Mind Tome and we don't kill something this turn. Cycling for a land ain't bad, actually. I kind of like that. Cycle neutralize. So if we don't hit, if, if, I think I agree. If we don't make a land drop this turn, um, we probably just can't win. All right, I like it. I like it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We did it. We got a land. Now they're gonna stop us and play one question with draw card. Few too many Ugans here. Land? No. Ugh. I mean, it's not bad, but. Why I miss land drops today? Why I miss land drops today? Mammoth. Right. I mean, they have an Embercleave, we get to get it, so we drew land too, that's sweet. Their hand is Henge Embercleave. Oh my god. Oh no. Alright, we have to take the right hand, we can't beat it. But now we like... Ugh. This is so bad. Just play Maze Mind Tome and just say go. This is so bad for us. Oh, man. Where's Extinction Event when you need it? So they get to, like, attack for 7 and Embercleave the Bone Crusher. So we're taking 10 this turn, like, no matter what. There's passing and I'm playing Embercleave. I guess, I guess lethal right seven. That's eleven, but oh man, you just can't miss land drops against Gruul ever. Just so bad. So we're taking ten and going to two. Come on. Who put four Ugans in this deck? And now the disgusting part is, we can Ashiok and bounce the Bone Crusher, and we just die to the stuff. <laughs> I should have scryed upkeep. I'm so stupid. I screwed up. I just didn't set my stop. Our top card's definitely good. That didn't matter. Alright. I mean, you just can't miss land drops against Gruul. Just, just like, that's just like the, you know, level zero for the most part. Um, that's alright. All the removal, no, none of it, none of it neutralizes. Bring it all in. We're gonna want shadows, verdicts, kind of like nightmare too, honestly. 
Ashiok plus Chump. They have an Ember Cleaved Monster. Ugh. Um, so. I don't know, Reach. I just stole it from the uh, the SCG 6-0s from the satellite tournaments. That's pretty good, too. You're shaving Ugin. Four Ugin does seem like a lot. Um, like, four Ugin just feels like kind of excessive. Negate is, uh, Negate's okay. This is fine. Ugin is quite the end game for sure. All right, we're mulliganing. Am I a joke to you? Oh man. Come on, help me out here. Come on! I found our lands. Found the lands. Somebody help me, please. Please, somebody help me. Clouds are here. It's getting dark. Rush fire elemental. Sure. Spells? This is this is ridiculous. Somebody's playing a prank on me. You're wa you're all watching this, right? Like we are we're all watching the same game here. Is that is that what's happening? Like we are watching the same game, right? This is this is this is uh right? Am I am I seeing things? Am I going am I going blind? Am I am I unaware of what's happening? I s <laughs> well, Jim, you said you can't miss a land drop. Oh my god. I guess I'll put Yorian in my hand. <laughs> please, please draw. Please draw Extinction Event. Just like, please. Please somebody help me. I need help. I need an adult. Man, there's an Ember Cleave. next turn to freaking kill us. Oh, Essence Scatter. Right on time. Right on time, Essence Scatter. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. This is unreal. Alright, well, they're gonna Ember Cleave and kill us, so. I mean, they're probably not, not gonna play Ember Cleave into like 5 open mana, but. They also have Passage, too. Oh my god. If we had to scatter the previous turn for the Lovestruck Beast, this game would probably be fine, honestly. But they're just attacking for 11 on turn 4, and we haven't really played a spell yet. This is so stupid. I don't think we have any outs anymore. Well, thanks for playing. Well, that was a fun game. That was fun. Glad we queued that one up. Oh my god. Sometimes, uh, sometimes they're out to get you. And something. Yeah, where's the did you have fun? Huh? Where's the little smiley faces? I, I want to click that unsmiley, uh, unfrowny face where I, I can't even talk. Just punch the frowny face in the face. Oh man. Unbelievable. This deck does seem very good though. Um, very good. It seems, it seems pretty good. Um, I do think four Ugin is probably too many. And I almost I almost want more Ashiok, honestly. I think Ashiok's pretty tight. Um, four Heartless Act, Eliminate. Deck seems good. Deck seems good. I like it. Um, I just think I would shave an Ugin or two. And uh, maybe try and be like a little bit cheaper, but I'm not even sure. Me a third Ashiok. Ashiok's good. I do like Ashiok. I'm a pretty big Ashiok fan. It's a pretty solid card. 
Um, but yeah, deck's cool. We're going to move on to a different deck. Um, but YouTube folks, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you, YouTube. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Your support is awesome. It's here for YouTube.